Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Active Directory video for Northeast State Community College. In this video, what we're going to do is now go in and do our promotion or our configuration of our Active Directory. So we've already installed the features. Now we need to do the what they call the post-deployment configuration, which is basically promoting this to make it a domain controller. So I'll go ahead and start the wizard. And the first screen that comes up asks me, is this a domain controller that we're adding to an existing domain, a new domain in a forest, or a new forest? And in our case, this is a new forest, so I'll click the new forest radio button. So the first domain, remember, in a new forest becomes our root domain, and so we decided that that was going to be my.local. So I'll go ahead and type the name in, my.local, go ahead and say next. And now it wants to know what our functional level is. Remember, we're using the technical preview, not the final version of Server 2016. So when I look at these forest and domain functional levels, I have not a Windows Server 2016 functional level, but a technical preview the final version of the functional level could change somewhat. But notice I can also go back all the way to a Windows Server 2008 functional level in the forest. If we had, in the future, we knew we were going to add additional domain controllers that may not be Windows 2016, maybe they're going to be Server 2012 or 2008, I would pick one of these older functional levels for my forest. Now, by picking the server functional, uh, the technical preview functional level, that's the only domain level I can have. But if I were to go back and say do 2012, now I can go back and use 2012 or 2012 R2 as my functional level. I'm not going to do that because I know I'm not going to put any domains in that are below this 2016. That's something in your planning you would need to know. And we'll talk more about functional levels in another video. Now, do we want to specify the domain controller and global catalog server? Yes, this is our first one, our first domain in a new forest. So we're going to go ahead and uh, specify those. We can't do read-only domain controller. Notice that's not available because this is our first domain controller. Then our password. Now make sure you have a secure password for our restore mode. Make sure you know what it is. For purposes of a demonstration, I'm going to use password 1 because that's easy to remember. So go ahead and next and it wants to know if we want to create our DNS delegation, and we would. Um, now, it says no credentials provided, so I have to go in here and uh, put my credentials in. Now, I've said my credentials are the administrator, and go ahead and next. And it's going to take a minute, look on the network to see if my NetBIOS naming is okay. And it says, okay, my, well, that's fine. I will leave that because that's my domain name. If I had had something else with that name out there, another machine, then I would have to change it. Now, where do I want to store all of my objects? The database and the uh, syslog uh, or sysvol folders, they're under the Windows NTDS and sysvol. The log files are also under the Windows NTDS. That's not really considered the best practice. The best practice would be to store your log files on a different drive. But for our purposes, since this is a demonstration, we're going to go ahead and leave that. But if this was a production environment for me, 
I would have another drive that I was storing my log files on. Let's go ahead and next and then it's going to have me review all my settings and here's a neat little feature that I can do view script and it will show me a script that would do this for me. Where this is really nice is I could take this script, I could copy it, save it, and then actually make changes to it for additional domain controllers and do this through PowerShell. Well, I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm going to go next, and now it's going to check the prerequisites. It's going to make sure that I've got everything ready for this. And this can take two or three minutes at times. Well, it didn't in this case. It gave me a warning that it was a technical preview, and uh, so the cryptography and all uh, is a problem. Well, that's okay. We're, we, we're okay with the technical preview. All my prereqs were good. Everything passed, so now I'm ready to install. Big error I have seen made on this first one is back at the DNS where you create your forward lookup zone and forget your reverse lookup zone and you would get an error here. So now I click the install and at this point it is sit there and wait on the installation. So through the magic of editing I'm going to go ahead and pause and we'll come back when it's completed. After the installation was completed and configuration, uh, it rebooted the system and now I've logged back in and you can see in our dashboard area we've got our Active Directory domain services showing and when I click on it I'll see my domain controller, I'll see any errors and events going along with it. Um, if I go down to my start menu and look at my applications, I have my uh, the administrative tools now showing. All of my Active Directory administrative tools were installed at the same time. And so now I'm ready to do any configuration that I need to do, add users, uh, computers, uh, create my groups, and all the other things that we'll be doing in future videos. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video for Northeast State Community College. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos.